So that's so cool how he can just like shoot it and then just retrieve it. Oh, he's breaking all the sinks. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be watching episode 13 of season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. And I am pretty excited. Last episode, I feel like a lot happened. We also got left on a really big cliffhanger. I mean, we had Nanami fight against a little creepy blonde ponytail haired guy. Then we have Mei Mei who is going against some weird smallpox cursed demon. And we also have the cliffhanger where we got to see Chozo lock eyes with Itadori and immediately shoot at him, which he's doing so to get revenge for his brothers. So I am ready to see how that fight's gonna go down. Actually, I'm really excited to see Mei Mei and Itadori's fight. Before we get into this episode, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for me. And you should totally check out my Patreon where I do post full uncut versions of everything and we are weeks in advance in comparison to YouTube. So let's get into it. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh yeah, since the veil was lifted. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> he literally ran right into him. Uh. Golly! ケツ液を勝ち限界まで圧縮する技。薬炎で圧縮した血液を一点。うん。磁力で強化され、打ち出された血液の所属は音速も。おお、マイガード。Yum. It's kind of upsetting because Itadori did feel a little bad. Those are so cool, though. <gasps> that looks so sick. So that's so cool how he can just like shoot it and then just retrieve it. Interesting. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Close the gap, close the gap, close the gap. Distance. Oh, 
Mekamaru. Don't look down. Ooh. Okay, I thought something's gonna happen. <gasps> Water. It can't mix. It can't. Oh, f dude, Chozo's intense. Oh, he's breaking all the sinks. <laughs> oh my god! Let's see you use it now. I thought the blood wouldn't be able to form in the water. Still floating around. Uh, let's go. God, Makamaru is so smart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Let's go. Insane. I love the color block difference between them, the red against the blue. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. What? What? <gasps> no, 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 so can I help? Do something. Do something. Oh. They're all counting on you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, he's going to cover his hands with it. Oh, Break his arm. Wow.
Let's go! Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, Wolverine. No, 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 no! Okay. He's not dead. Fuck you. Oh, pfft. <laughs> oh, He missed. How did he miss? I feel like that's like a really... That's something Sukuna would do. Oh my god. Oh, is he using Sukuna's blood? I'm... Memories are these. What the f*** is going on? Why is this kind of... wholesome? I'm so confused. This episode, oh my god, this fight. First and foremost, I kind of love the fact that they made it into a story almost, like with the narration of the lady. She has a really nice voice, but the animation and the music and just like everything, it was really good. It was really intense. I am a little confused again towards the end. I feel like he was poisoned by Sukuna. Like, I feel like that's just something Sukuna would do. Like, how dare you try to kill me? Like, you're going to be taking my blood. All right, here you go. Enjoy. I think that's what happened. Hopefully they clarify it in the next episode. Not sure. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm reading, though. I loved the combat in it, though. I think it's also kind of funny that how they started off was like, oh yeah, Chozo has like no experience in combat. And it's like, I'm sorry, like what would it have looked if he had experience? And again, Mekamaru coming in clutch with that information and knowing to lure him into the bathroom, but then egging him on, like, are you illusion like your brothers? I think this was a really good episode. Very, very good episode. I am a little frightened to see what the girls, why were they looking for Itadori? What do they have planned with Itadori? Clearly they're gonna use Sukuna to their advantage, maybe to bring Chozu back to life. I'm sorry, not Chozu. Maybe to bring Geto back to life. Not really sure what's going on there, but clearly they were after Itadori. I am just happy to know that he's alive. Um, I don't want to say he's well, but clearly he's alive. That's all that matters as of now. This was a really good episode. Well, I will see you guys for episode 14, though.